remember I play pals thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're new to our channel click that red subscribe button ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos now guys LOL Surprise has a new exclusive doll set that is coming out and it is called the Amazing Surprise. I think that's the name of it. Cookie Swirl C, she did an unboxing of that and I will leave a link in the description box below for you guys to check it out. I know she has a huge channel and she doesn't need any traffic for me necessarily, but I just thought that doll set was so amazing that anyone that is a doll lover should definitely check it out. It reminded me of when I was a kid and sometimes there was a new toy out and if you weren't able to get the toy, what did you do? You kind of created your own toy or something like it and you pretended that you had that particular toy. So what I decided to do today is we don't have the amazing LOL surprise, but we're doing an LOL extreme Yay! surprise. And what this is, is we're going to be unboxing 10 different dolls from some different series. And I thought that that would be really cool. And also we're going to be doing the fashion show on the go. And it does have a fan favorite doll, so that's gonna be cool. And then also we're going to do one of the LOL Surprise furniture sets that we have that actually go with the LOL Surprise house. We have all four of these already, but today we're just going to do one. So guys, without any further delays, let's go ahead and get to this extreme unboxing and see what's inside. Okay guys, so the first one we're gonna unbox is a Glitter Series doll. And I believe this might be one of the first LOL Surprise dolls that I ever unboxed, which is really cool. That's the clue, Glitter Bomb. Ooh, guys, it's a gold ball. I hope that means we got someone really cool. And I hope it's not one that we already have. Or do these all have gold balls? I can't remember, it's been so long since I actually unboxed one of these in the glitter series, so we'll have to see. So um, anyway, I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and get these blind baggies out. Okay, for our new LOL Surprise doll lovers or those who just want to take a trip down memory lane, this is what the guide looks like, guys. I think these girls look fabulous. And then on the back side right here, we have our checklist. And I'm not going to tell you guys exactly which ones I have. In the interest of time, we're going to be powering through this video. So let's get on to see who we got. Got a nice little headband. Ooh, we've got a little, like, outfit right there it's like like a jersey and a little glitter shorts do you guys know who we have I do and we got our bottle and our shoes and a little necklace the last thing we have is our doll guys and yes we've got MC swag I love her little mole right there on her face right there so cute Let's get her dressed. Okay guys, so we got Swag all dressed. That's MC Swag and she looks amazing. I love her and I actually have her already and I also have her in one of the furniture sets that I got. So I actually have triplets now. <laughs> One of my favorites has always been the Glam Glitter series, guys. I always say glam, oh glam. So I'm excited to see what's in this glitter ball. So our clue says golden child. So we have all of our blind bags out and this is our checklist. And this is the little poster on the back, guys. And this is awesome. I think I have most of these except for, actually I think I have all of these except for Kitty Queen and the Queen. So don't think I'm gonna have them because I don't see any special ball going on. It's just a black ball. So let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm gonna go to the big girl first um, for something a little different. It is Spice, guys, and I've had Spice many, many times over. She is super adorable, but let's get her dressed. So Spice is all dressed, and she looks so cute, guys. Even though I have her, like, several times over, I still think she's adorbs. And she came with this particular bottle right here because she has kind of a pink and red type color going on. Okay, guys, now you know I love hair goals, and I did for Series 1, I did a full case unboxing. I haven't done that for Series 2, so there's so many dolls for Series 2 that I still don't have and I'm really hoping that this is one that I don't. So let's go ahead and get to unboxing and hopefully this will be a new dolly that I do not have yet. So I got my mirror, stickers with the little barrettes on them, and my clue. Oh, I have it upside down, sorry. Um, it says top knot. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and see who we have inside. 
Now, for those of you who may have never seen this particular series before, um, it's part of the Makeover series, and this is a can of hairspray, and it's so cute, and it opens up like this, and that's where we have our guide and our doll, and we also have some rollers inside that includes some of the accessories that we'll get for our doll. And here's a look at the checklist, and I've got lots of work to do. I, you know, I'm just excited and hoping that I get one that I don't have yet, which would be awesome. And there's a little poster on the back side. So let's get to some of these baggies. So we've got some shoes and, ooh, nice. Got a little headband, which is cute. I know who we have and I'm so excited. But I won't give it away, I won't give it away. And look at these glasses, chic. This right here is a chain that you can connect to carry your spray bottle. Look at this cute little outfit, guys. Nice. And our first roller. In the hair roller, we've got a comb. It's a blue comb. And our second roller, a blue and black bottle, and it matches our girl's outfit. Now, before I open her up, I just wanted to let you guys know that one of the great things about the Hair Goal series, if you don't know it, is they have real hair, guys. And look at our girl, isn't she adorable? I love her red hair. She is one that I did want. Um, some of the folks that first unboxed her, I saw her, so I thought she is so cute, guys. Let's go ahead and take her body wrap off because she does have a little body wrap. Isn't that adorable? Look at her, she's cute, 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 cute. Now, her name is Pins, guys, and Pins is so cute, and she's a color changer. So, before we get her dressed, we're gonna have to check out her color change, but I'm gonna put her off to the side and we'll do the color changers at the end. Okay, guys, so we're on to our fourth doll that we're going to unbox. This is one of the LOL Surprise Boys guys and it's series one. I actually did a full case unboxing and unboxed many, 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 many more boys on my hunt where I was trying to complete the series and I did get all of the series one's one dolls. I have all of them now. So this one is guaranteed to be a duplicate, but I'm still interested to see who we get. So our clue says fancy pants, aloha bro. So here's the poster of the LOL Surprise Boys and there are a total of eight that you can collect. So we're gonna start with our blind bags. We got something right here. I know who we have because I have all of them but that's a cute little outfit for our boy. This feels like shoes and it is our shoes. It's like a, I think this is a sash and a cute bottle. And this is our boy, your Royal Heine. That is his name and he is so cute. So let's go ahead and get him dressed. I love his hair. <laughs> but there's our boy. I think he looks so cute and this is his bottle. So we're gonna put him off to the side. And so far guys, we have unboxed a total of four dolls. So we have six more to go. Okay guys, so next we're gonna do one of the under wraps. Guys, we have a gold capsule. So hopefully it's someone really cool. Um, this is our little clue right here. And we have our spyglass because we can look at the different codes through our spyglass in order to decode to open up the capsule. Also on this side, there's little secret messages and stuff. Um, this says, let's play. So we have looked at all of our little codes here and open all of our little compartments. So we're going to take all of our stuff out. But if we weren't, we could just go ahead and decode them one by one, but that would take a lot of time. So everything's coming now. Okay guys, so we have our little checklist right here for the under wraps, so many dolls. And then um, I got mine quite some time ago and some of them weren't even listed yet. So that's pretty cool. I would love to get tins. On the back we have some different like clues and we can uh, decode different messages and stuff to try to figure out who we have and how to rescue our girls. But I think that is pretty cool. So I, that's one of the things that I love about under wraps. Also, our girl is behind kind of a disguise, which is cool. And so let's go ahead and start taking out some of her stuff so we can see who we have. Now, this is interesting. I have not seen this outfit. Not sure off the top of my head, I know who this is. And let's see, we got some lace-up shoes. 
Ooh, now that's cute. Belt type bow. Ooh, and our bottle. Glitter, nice. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is take the wrap off. Ooh, her head popped off. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, now she kind of looked like she might be a color changer. I don't know, because of her um, legs right here. But she is so cute, guys. So adorable. Love the little glitter on her eyes and her blue hair and her little like um, knots at the top. But so cute. I love it. And I love her lipstick and her, ooh, she's got like flowers on her cheeks. So she is cute. And let's see who she is. And she seemed like she was someone special because she came in a gold ball. Oh, so we've got a rare because she's got a gold star and we've got Kawaii Queen and she's a color changer. So that's pretty cool. So since she's a color changer, we're not gonna get her dressed yet. We're gonna put her off to the side. Hey guys, so I think the next three that we are going to do are going to be like globes and balls and things that are very, almost, you know, like holiday themed. Um, so this first one is the Sparkle Series, LOL Surprise. I've only opened maybe two or three of these. So um, hopefully it's one that I don't have. I love the ones that are sparkly. Okay, and the clue says sparkle baby. Okay. So here's our little poster that's on the back side of it and our checklist. I would love to get Punk Boy. I'll be over the moon if I get Punk Boy. Mm, I'm not getting Punk Boy. <laughs> And I actually think that's one that I already have. I'm pretty sure of it. Yep, it's a duplicate. I got twinsies. And her shoes right there, they're gold and pink. And her little feathery headband. And her bottle. And our girl, let's see who we got. I already know who we got. Oh, I just love her still though. I love how glittery she looks. She looks amazing. And if you look on here, We've got Show Baby right there. She is so cute. And we can go ahead and get her dressed because she is not a color changer, but still fabulous. Here's Show Baby all dressed up. And doesn't she look amazing? She is just all kinds of pink glittery goodness. Now, one of the cool things about the Sparkle series, guys, it does come with a Christmas tree ornament where we can store our doll or we can hang them on the tree or wherever else we wanna hang them for the holidays. You can also just kind of sit them on a table or something like that to display them, which is really cool. The funny thing is last year I actually purchased some snow globes because I was going to make my own snow globe um, LOL surprises. And now they have the Winter Disco series and they already have that. So that's pretty cool. I never got around to doing it. Still have the materials, but just never did. So guys, let's go on to the next one. We're gonna do a bling series right now. Let's check it out. So we got our clue and it says sparkle like a star. So now we're gonna take everything out. Okay guys, Oof. the bling series. Okay, I have a number of these as well, but I think they're so, so adorable. And I like the little poster on the back and this is the checklist. I still have a lot of these to still get. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't get a duplicate. We'll have to see. Let's start first with the bottle. Oh, this doesn't look like one I have, or if I do, I don't remember these shoes, but we don't know. Let's see, there's the shoes right there. And I think maybe this might be a bottle. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually an outfit, and I am totally wrong. I got this one already. Ah, it's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. Okay, there's our bottle. Love these glasses, though. Cute. Okay, guys, here's the moment of truth, but I already know who we have based on her outfit, but she's still cute, though. Still very, very cute, guys. This is doll face. I love her hair, guys. It is so cute, full of all kinds of glittery goodness. So let's go ahead and get her dressed. There's doll face and she looks fabulous. I love how glittery she is. She is so cute. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put her inside her ornament. So I'm going to apologize in advance. This is going to be a long video, but anyway, it will be worth it hopefully. So now let's go ahead and open up our LOL Surprise Glitter Globe, guys. And I love these. I've only unboxed 
three. Um, I did uh, the actual globe. I did one of the fluffy pets and one of the lils. So that's all I've done so far. So hopefully this is not a duplicate. This is fun. I'm really enjoying doing this. It's, it's, you know, I'm creating my own extreme, amazing LOL surprise. So I think this is amazing. It's fun. I got some duplicates, but I'm still having a good time doing it. And that's what's most important, um, having fun. The clue is shopping for presents. Cool. I love the way these look, guys. Oh, look at that glitter. That is gonna be so awesome. Can't wait to see it. Once we put the water inside, pop this open. This is a stand right here for our globe. And it really comes in handy, like if you don't have the all three of them to build the snow BB. I'll insert a card above so you guys can check out the video where I did all three of them, the actual globe, the fluffy pet, and the lil, so you can create a snow BB. Um, each one does come with a stand, even the lils and all of that, so that's cool. So anyway, look at the bags, aren't they adorable? Cute. So let's go ahead and open our first one. Oh, I know this is not any one we have because I don't recognize these and I've only done one. So, <laughs> so I would recognize it. Now this pom pom guys is so sparkly and cute. Look at that. That's cute. I can't wait to see who we have. Oh, I know who we have and I'm over the moon. I wanted her so bad. I wanted her to be the first one that I unboxed, but she wasn't. I know who it is. Yay, yay, yay. This is fun. This is so much fun. Oh, look at this bottle, guys. Oh, cute little bottle. Nice. I've been unboxing so long, my hands are getting dry. I think I need some lotion. <laughs> look at this dress, guys. Isn't it cute? Look at this dress. Isn't it amazing? I love it. Look at all the little sparkles on it. Cute. And this right here is um, the little foot stand and it goes inside the globe. You put it right here like this, you pop it into place and that's so you can stand your doll up in here. And I was so excited um, when I opened it up. I didn't even show you guys the checklist. So here is the poster on the back, which is cute. I love it. And this is what I was talking about when I said you can build a snow BB, which we've done. And that is cool if you have all three of these, the globe, the fluffy pets, and the lils. And this is so awesome, guys. Here's the checklist, and I know who we have. We have Bashful Cutie. That's who we have. She's part of the Offices Club. And she is, I'm sure, common. Oh, excuse me, well, fabulous. That's what she is. They're all fabulous. That's what the common ones are called, fabulous. And where is she? Let's go ahead and open her up. I wanted her, and I'm sure it's gonna be, oh, look at her. Look at her hair, guys. Isn't that amazing? It's like she's got heart-shaped confetti inside her hair like it's glittery and ooh, look at her cheeks and her eyes. I mean, she is amazing. I love her and I'm so happy to have her. Oh goodness, I'm so happy to have her. I'm like doing a dance on the other side of the camera, guys. This is so amazing and awesome. Now, one of the cool things about the Glitter Globe dolls, um, they actually do some cool things with water. So what we are going to do, we're gonna take a little bubble out. So this is cute, a little bubble right there. We're gonna take this bubble out, but we're gonna put some water inside um, so we can see if her glitter inside floats around and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so we're not going to get her dress yet. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to unbox is this boutique here, guys. It's a LOL Surprise Furniture Set and we get our girl right here and I'm so excited to have her. It's so cool because Queen Bee is one that I don't have an original of her. I don't, I just don't have Queen Bee. I don't know why I don't. I have her OMG big sister. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get this because I really wanted to have her. We get the furniture, we get accessories, we get our doll and we get a fold out play set. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now before we open it up, once you get the plastic off, you can really see that the box looks like a hologram, guys. I love how shiny it is. It is so cute. I'm definitely gonna be saving the box um, because I wanna keep it. I just think it's cool. And so I don't know 
how it's going to work once I try to do the playset part. Oh yeah, because I'll be able to keep it. So that is awesome. So I took that top part off. Um, lots of blind bags inside. Um, and I forgot, it says it has 10 plus surprises. So lots of surprises that we're going to take out. Now this is cool guys. This is the play set. Oh, how cool. Let's set the play set up. Okay guys, so we have our fold out play set all set up. Our little boutique is over here. So it looks really, really cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started and open some of the blind bags. And I love the fact that it has little like newspaper like stuff on here, which is cool. So let's open that up. Oh, Queen Bee's dress, nice. And so let's open Queen Bee because I'm sure she's in here. Oh gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. I just want to, oh, look at her gold glittery hair. Awesome. Let's see what else we have. We've got her shoes and her bottle. And we've got some hangers. Ooh, and a little wardrobe right there. And I'm sure, ooh, we can hang all kinds of stuff inside. And it's got some pull-out drawers as well. And the other thing too is like on the side of the boutique, I didn't show you guys this, but there's some hanging purses and stuff hanging up. And there's like a little vanity area, a little sitting area where you can kind of sit and relax while you're shopping. Cause you know, the high-end boutiques, that's what they have, like a nice little place for you to sit. Maybe they'll bring you a nice little drink. Ooh, look at the little purse right there, so cute. Anyway, um, here's a mirror. So this right here is our mirror and it is nice. And it also has a little stand right here. So the mirror can stand up on its own, which is cool. This right here is, I forget what you call these. Like it's not a mannequin. I just can't think of what it's called, but it's the little um, uh, like seamstresses. Um, use it or in some boutiques sometime you'll see it and they'll put dresses and stuff on it and we've got this right here what is this oh she's got a cell phone okay guys she is super duper adorable and I'm so happy to finally have her as a part of my collection so let's get on to the fashion on the go set which will be our last doll that we have to unbox Okay guys, so when I saw this fashion on the go set, I bought it um, maybe about a month ago. It's been a while. Um, I've had it. I even kind of use it to prop something up in a video that I had. But the cool thing about it is it has a flip out stand. It has sliding drawers. It also has a wall mount just in case you want to mount it to the wall, which I may do because I do have um, some space here in the studio now that I've changed some things around. You can also link multiple cases side to side or you can link them back to back to store them if you want to do that. And it's really cool because this also you can, you know, it's the whole intent is you can display your dolls. You can play as well because it has like a little runway and stuff like that. You can store some things and you can carry it this way. So it's pretty cool. Now what I like about it is it includes a fan favorite doll. I love the stuff that has a fan favorite doll. Just like I just unboxed something that had Queen Bee inside. I didn't have her. So some of the series one dolls, I don't have because I wasn't collecting LOL dolls at that time. I'm a little late to the LOL surprise game. Okay guys, so we're gonna open this up. Let's see. Okay, so we've got some stuff inside. Oh, it's just standing up. I thought it was going to have to lean, but it doesn't just yet. So this right here is our little like runway and stuff. It's got the little lights on it and things which is cool. So our fashions, we can kind of show our different fashions. And I think we're gonna get to the surprises, guys, because I'm excited. Are you? <laughs> so we got a bottle here, which is cute for our doll. Ooh, we've got a little crown, some cute little shoes, guys. Oh, what a cute little dress. This is fancy and I don't remember if she's a color changer or not, to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a water test with her before we actually try to get her dressed. So I'll save her to do um, the water test along with the other dolls that we have. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you guys a few things about our little on the go, fashion on the go set. We've got the runway right here. And then also we have all of these cool little areas. We've got these drawers, which are cool. And what I like about them is you can place them wherever you want. 
So the drawer, when you take the drawer out, another thing, if you flip it over like this, you can see that it kind of has a stand where you can stand up your doll, just like you can for some of the other um, different things that they have that have built-in stands, which is pretty cool. Now you only get three of them. Now the fashion on the go case is really cool because you can store up to 18 dolls and pets inside, which is awesome. You can just place them in here. And when you close it up, you can store them. And of course, in some of these areas, you will be able to put multiple pets and lils and you know different things like that. So that's really great. So if you're traveling, I would say this would be an excellent set to take. And then also the fact that you have the fashion runway down here where you can kind of, you know, make your dolls kind of walk the catwalk or you can stand them up on the shelf that doubles as a stand. Now the other thing that I wanted to point out is you can of course stack these kind of back to back if you have a lot of dolls. So I plan to get more of these, especially the fact that they come with fan favorites, I wanna get more. Now another thing that you can do with this is you can actually pop that out right there and you can kind of lean it over which is great um, if you find yourself in a situation where you wanted to kind of play with your dolls and lean back on it now what i've used it for um in a previous video i use it as kind of a back a backdrop for something that i was doing and i needed to lean it over so i wanted to do that so guys you let me know in the comments below what you think about the lol surprise fashion show on the go i know we didn't do a lot of um display of what it is because this video is pretty long i've done so much in it already and we still have some water tests to do so the first doll that i wanted to do a water test on is fancy i wasn't sure if she was a color changer so let's go ahead and put her in the water and no, womp, womp, womp. She is not a color changer, so I am not going to do anything else with her. Let's put her to the side. I think Pins is so pretty. I love her hair. I'm gonna try to put her in the water without getting her hair wet. In she goes. Ooh, so that is so cute. So she's got a swimsuit with a pin, bowling pin on the front, and then on the back, she's got some nice little strappy things going on but it is really adorable. So I like her color change and think it is pretty awesome. So we're gonna put her off to the side. And the next one, guys, that we had is Kawaii Queen. We have her and I think she's a color changer. I'm gonna try not to get her glitter hair all messed up, but we'll see. Let's put her in. Ooh, now that is so cute. That is so cute, guys. She's got like, little like flowers and stuff that appeared on her leggings and then also on her little tummy i gotta do it again because it's so hot in here and also on her little like um the bottom that she has it's like a light pink and then she's got little flowers on her top um that is so cute but yeah it's um she's a color changer but nothing major like it's like a really light color but it's cute you guys let me know what you think about her color change. So we have our glitter globe right here and we did not do anything with it, nor did we do a water test with our girl. So we're gonna do both right now. Okay, so for our glitter globe, one of the things that you have to do is you have to take this little stopper out and you have to put water inside of it. Um, the only thing I have right now is a LOL surprise bottle. I don't know if this is gonna take forever and a day um, to get all the water inside, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna fill it up with this. Okay, I think we're just about there with filling up our globe and that should just about do it. We're gonna put our stopper back in it and guys, we're gonna shake it a little bit. Some of that glitter loose and isn't that beautiful? Look at how that looks. I love these globes, guys. Very, very cute. Cute, cute, cute. I, I think this is, could be very relaxing to watch especially if you do it like in slow-mo, this would be awesome. Oh my goodness. So now we're gonna look at our girl and we're gonna put some water inside so we can see if her hair, if there's actually, cause it looks like there's like loose like glitter in her hair and I'm not sure if it is, but I wanna give it a try. And the other thing too is her hair is kinda smushy. Like it's just, it's like rubbery. It almost looks like it would be glass, but it's not. I was trying to put the water inside the other way, but I just decided to kind of dunk her down into this water. Now it's cold water. Now her head feels heavy, which is funny. Oh, it feels heavy. But yeah, we've got, yeah, the glitter is kind of 
moving around in there. I don't know if you can see it, but the water is inside and it's moving around and the glitter is as well. I wonder if she'll spit out glitter. Probably not because those pieces of glitter look really big. No, she doesn't. But she's a spitter. But she's got tons of glitter inside. So that is so cute inside her hair that she has the glitter and stuff. But I love her little cheeks. Look at the little like hearts on her cheeks and stuff like that. She is so cute. So let's go ahead and get her all dried and dressed. Okay guys, so we have our other dolls um, all dressed now. And first, I wanna take a look at Fancy. I think she looks cute. Um, as I mentioned, she is a season one doll. It is so cute to have her finally be a part of my collection. So I'm happy to have Fancy. So we're gonna put her over there with the other dolls. And the next one we're gonna look at is Pins, guys. I thought Pins was super cute the first time I saw her. Something about her red hair. It was so cute to me, I love it. I'm not gonna comb it out yet, but I think her hair is so cute. I love her outfit as well. I mean, it's very retro in 50s. I just love it, love it, love it. But that's Pins, guys, and she is super duper cute. I really loved her color change too, guys. Her color change was so awesome, loved it. Now, Kawaii Queen, she is so cute to me, guys. I loved her. Her color change was really subtle, but I think she is cute, and I love her little outfit that she has on and her blue hair. Um, she is amazing, happy to have her. Look at her little flowers um, that are like on her cheeks and stuff. She is a Dorbs. I wanted to save the best for last. Bashful Cutie is so cute, and I love the globe and the glitter in it and how you can kind of shake it up and then have it come down. I didn't put the, the, the front part of the globe on and you can turn her any way you want. You can turn her this way or you can turn her the other way. It's entirely up to you, but I just turned her this way for now so you guys could still see her pretty face and her wonderful like glitter afro. I mean, that is just amazing. Before I actually close the globe, guys, I wanted you to see her glitter wings. They're so cute, so she's adorable. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, it may make sense to turn it this way, but I really think the LOL Surprise logo gets in the way. I kind of wish they did it on the other side. So I'm going to turn her around and we will just shake her up, okay? So we're going to turn her around, which is really easy to do like that. But she looks amazing. I just kind of feel like she needs to be on top of a Christmas tree or something like a LOL Surprise Christmas tree. She could be the angel on top of the tree. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a Christmas tree and put her on there. But yeah, she is adorbs. So you kind of take the glitter down like that. Like, isn't that awesome, guys? Okay, guys, so we unboxed 10 dolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10. Okay, guys, so you let me know which one was your favorite. Bashful Cutie has to be my favorite, guys. She definitely is something that's new, and I love her and the way she looks. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one was your favorite? But that's all we had today from Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say, even if you have a hard day, we hope you find some time to play. And we'll see you next time on Instant Ride Play. That's what it's all about.